there honey buns and welcome to the sixth video of my tiny cast makeover before I begin this video I would like to wish y'all a happy new year I wish you luck I wish you joy I wish you happiness I wish you love I really hope it's better than the previous one although hope I I literally had the best New Year's I've ever had. In fact, I had a hangover for two days. This is day three. So today I have decided to give the Caliente family a makeover because their history is just so freaking interesting. Although Sims 4 is set on an alternative timeline, so it doesn't have that history, but I think I should bring it to light because it is so much more interesting than the one we have in the Sims 4 game. And I'm kind of disappointed and I'm going to tell you why exactly. But first, let's see what the family bio says. It's no longer... It's no longer girls only now that Caliente matriarch Katrina has moved into her mooching boy toy Don. With three fury attractive ladies in the house, will Don remain faithful or will he get involved with more than one Caliente woman? I mean, he's Don Lothario, he's supposed to do that. I'm just... I'll get into it in a second. So I really would prefer to start with the makeover of the twin sisters Nina and Dina. Nina being the first and just looking at her right now, they did her so dirty. I am going to be trying to recreate the Nina and Dina from The Sims 2 because then their story was interesting, dramatic, chaotic, exciting. It was just way more interesting than it is now in The Sims 4. So before I start giving them a makeover here, I would like to know a little bit of the history of Nina and Dina in The Sims 2 because that's when it's fun and exciting and... You know, not Dawn living with their mom, who, by the way, Katrina is not their real mom. I'm just gonna say this. I'm gonna get into her later because I'm gonna do her last. But let's see a little bit about Nina in The Sims 2. So this is Nina from The Sims 2. I think she is totally adorable. And as you can see here in the life stage, she is an alien sim hybrid. Before I recorded this video, I actually watched a Plumbella video because she had the entire history of all Sims characters, which is really cool. I really got to learn a lot from her. And this is the family tree that we are going to be looking at today. This is done by Plumbella. It's not me. I'm going to link the video in the description below in case you want to check out the entire history of the Caliente family. So this is Nestor, who is Nina's and Dina's grandfather. And in The Sims 2, he was abducted by aliens, abducted by this Tech 7 alien guy. And the thing Thing is that in The Sims 2, if a man was abducted by aliens, he would return pregnant because why the hell not? And he returned and gave birth to this flamenco who is Nina's and Dina's father. I don't know why I made a pause there. So flamenco caliente is neat, outgoing, playful, active, and nice. He's pretty much a really nice person. And Nina actually takes a lot after him. She is a lot like her father. She also likes exercise and pudding. Just putting it out there. The woman likes it. I like it too. The thing is, I'm going to try to recreate her character like this, you know, with like red, long, straight hair. And also she did have a job at the slacker's career, but since she's a slacker, she, you know, so I just, I love her character in The Sims 2 and I have no idea why they did her so bad in The Sims 4. I am going to be tweaking them a lot. I'm saying this from now on in all my cast makeovers. I'm going to be tweaking Sims the way I want them to look. I'm gonna try to keep their aesthetics because that's just like the most important part. Although I'm going to be tweaking them because they deserve it. I just want to see Nina and Dina if they're all the same. Oh wait, I did not replicate them. Hold on. To be honest, since they're twins, they look like nothing alike. Look at her face and look at Nina's face. I mean, they're really, really different and they're supposed to be twins and you know what? Never mind. I'm just going to soften her eyebrows. And I really like her. Actually, her side profile is really pretty. I think she's nice. Now, let's see if we could find some skin details for you, darling. And also, there was another thing. Nina and Dina are actually much darker than this skin tone that they have right now. And by the way, these clothes, really? Really? What is this? No fashion sense whatsoever. Let me take them off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, and I want to see which skin tone would actually be the skin tone she had on before. Like, I think this is actually the skin tone she was. Yeah, she was not that fair. She was never that fair. And I guess this would be her skin tone, so I'm just going to quickly give it to her sister as well. Now, just giving my typical nose contours, maybe dimples, some blush. Okay, I think I really dig her so far. Okay, I think I'm really digging these 
eyelashes and they are the MM Sims V3 eyelashes. So let's move on to giving you some real beautiful green eyes. Okay, so there are these eyes that you're pretty. No, I think I actually like these eyes best. There are Pro Line number 158 eyes in the darker shade of green. I think, yeah, the darker shade looks better because she does actually have darker green eyes. Okay, she has really red lips and she doesn't appear to have any makeup on, although it's my makeover, so maybe she would have a little, a little bit of makeup. And to be honest with you guys, she's looking so gorgeous so far. And she looks nothing like her twin sister. Ironic. So really pink lips. I think I said red again. I'm so sorry for mixing up red and pink. It is totally unacceptable. Now, I really feel her, like her lips are somewhere here, but I don't want to give those to her. I think I'm going to go in a different direction and just make them really like this. This is cool. This is cool. This is pinkish and reddish and I love it. Let's give you some blush because I always do that. And now let's go on to hair. I'm going to give you a straight red hair as I said because... That's your true hair. Oh my god, she seems so innocent, but she's so not. I haven't even gotten to the part with Don Lothario yet, and that is like a very, very interesting story, but I'm gonna tell you about it once we start doing him. I guess this would actually work pretty well. Ooh, there's this. There's this, and it's so pretty. Okay, I think this hair won me over. It is so gorgeous on her. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep her like that, and now dressing you. I'm gonna dress you like you were dressed in The Sims 2. Or even maybe I could go a little bit further because this is how she was dressed. Although I really like it, you know, like baggy jeans, real crop top, nice interesting shoes. I'll just change up the shoes, okay? I'll change up the shoes. Okay, I immediately found your crop top revealing your kind. I love it. I think the first time that I ever played The Sims 2, I played with the Caliente family because I really remember loving playing with Dina and Nina. They were like one of the most beautiful girls there. Okay, all the jeans that I have go up way too high, you know? She shows her stomach a little bit in the other one, but I don't think I can find some CC like that. Oh, I have these ones! Okay! These are perfect! Like, look! Almost one and the same, just a little bit lighter. Bringing back Nina of 2000 and... When did The Sims 2 come out? Going back to 2004! I mean, she did have pink shoes on and I guess these would suffice? Oh my god! Oh my god, look at you! And I think I am done with my 2004 Nina Caliente. She looks really, really cute. I really like her. You can go and hand it in the comments below and tell me what you think of her. And now, moving on to the swim sister, Dina. Dina! Oh my god, Dina. Like, look, here she has the Master Mixologist aspiration. She's romantic, active, and ambitious. She was the biggest gold digger in the world. And they took that away from her! So Dina's history is actually a little bit more cheekier than Nina's. She is the... she is that sister. And she was really portrayed as a big gold digger. I mean, she was married to uh, Bella's brother... Michael Goth. And in the beginning of The Sims 2 game, she wants to get married to Mortimer Goth, proving that she's the biggest gold digger in the world. Here she is in her full glory. It is often said that Dina has a mind of her own, but she's quickly to disagree. She likes chocolate and dream of making it big. Or, you know, finding people who made it big and then marrying them so she can get their money. There was chaos and drama in The Sims 2. I love that. I love it. And I was so there for it. I don't know why they changed it so much. Another interesting thing about the Caliente family is that that they arrived on the eve that Bella Goth disappeared. I mean, it's an alternative timeline, so it's totally fine for it to be a little different, but they made it like wholly different. Just hold on, I need to find a skin because I can't think and talk at the same time. I'm not that I'm not that good. And why are their faces so different? I mean, in the Sims 2 game, they were literally one and the same. I'll be damned, I can't find a good skin for her. I mean, I guess there is this one, and I can add like eye eyelids and everything else. Okay, let's try with this one. Let's give you some eyelids so that you look better. I mean, if you're a gold digger, you would look the best you can so that you can steal all the money from pretty boys, men. She's actually pretty cute too, once you know you put all the skin details on. Does she have any makeup here? No. She just looks ill. I kind of wanted to give them the same eyes, but if I can't find the right color, maybe I shouldn't. I could go for these eyes instead. And again, I'm gonna tweak with her eyes. Maybe close them a little bit. Make them bigger. See, she's a cutie pie. I did not add eye highlights. Wait. Okay, there you go, Nina. Let's get back to Dina, who is totally different from her sister. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if I saw them together, I would never have guessed that they are sisters. And in The Sims 2, if 
I saw them, I would know that they are sisters, you know what I mean? Okay, she doesn't have any makeup either in The Sims 2. I'm just gonna do the usual, some blush, some eyelashes, like big eyelashes for her big ambitions. And then the lips would be the last, and they were really fair, so... Something like this, literally this, actually. Okay, I'm gonna keep this part of her because I actually like it. And now, let's start looking for a good hair. In fact, I liked two hairs before, so let's see if I can find it again. Okay, this is one of the options, and I'm pretty much digging it a lot. I don't know if there's, like, a blonder one. No, this is already going to pink. This is the blondest I could... Go. So I think I'm gonna go with this hair because it's the one that looks closest to the one in The Sims 2 game. And can I go lighter with your eyelashes? Brows? What? Okay, apparently I can't! Okay, maybe we gotta search for some different eyebrows then. Okay, why are the twins so mad? Damn! Okay, I'm really digging this Selang Eyebrows number 25. <gasps> She's actually so pretty right now! Okay, let's dress you. I don't... I don't know what's going on here. Okay, th uh, this this is interesting. We have a skirt and a purple top. Okay, I immediately found the skirt, but the tank top, let's see what I can do. Okay, I think I'm really digging this. I mean, the skirt is almost the same as this one. I changed it up from the before one that I had. She has this top. I just kept the color because I think this is what she would wear now. I mean, and it looks so freaking good on her the flip-flops i'm not even gonna comment on them but i think i am really glad with my final form of dina caliente you can go on ahead and tell me in the comments down below if you like her and moving on to don lothario the heartthrob the man the womanizer the okay i have a question for you guys and i want you to answer me honestly if you saw this man would you cheat on your boyfriend with him because my answer would definitely be no and yet in the sims 2 game when the game begins he has four relationships with four different women two of them being the twin sisters nina and dina and another one was his maid and the fourth one is Cassandra Goth, who he is actually engaged to in the beginning of the game, which is kind of weird because in the eve of Bella's disappearance, oh my gosh, I just gotta take everything off you, don't I? Jesus Christ, you look, you look terrible, Don. I mean, for a man who not only hits on his fiance's mother, but also has a relationship with four women, I don't think he should look like this. And here he is non-committal, an active, romantic, and has a serial romantic aspiration. Literally, if anyone deserves the serial romantic aspiration it is this dude okay it's literally like i think it was made for him oh god i cannot fix your eyebrows and why are your eyes so into your face can i bring them like forward or something oh thank god i could and i am gonna be tweaking your eyes i mean i am going to turn don lothario into a womanizer that he actually is in the game but never truly was when he was created i don't know but the man should be like very hot he has to have like juicy lips he what he has to make the woman want to be with him, you know? His nose, I pretty much, I think I like. His eyes, I hate. Don't even get me started on his eyebrows. Can, can you just not look that mad? Why are you mad? You're living the life. You're the bachelor. You're the king of bachelors. Look like it, please. Oh my god, he actually looks so innocent right now, even though he's like the biggest bitch of all. <laughs> okay, I think I like how he's looking so far. And yes, let's talk about Bella Gotha's disappearance. Okay, so he, being engaged to Cassandra Goth, who is Bella Goth's daughter, he decides to hit on Bella Goth in the night of her disappearance at his rooftop. The only thing is that Bella Goth rejects him big time and was like, no, why are you trying to kiss me? And then a day later, she was gone. Poof, gone. And also, they had a telescope there. By the way, I'm giving him the Obscurus number 5 skin because he looks great. Also, the Caliente sisters have alien history, as I told you before, with their grandfather and their father being an alien hybrid, and them also being alien hybrids, so maybe they contact their alien friends and decided, you know, to make Bella Gob disappear forever. Oh. I mean, Plumbella did a video explaining everything about Bella Goth and her disappearance, so I think I'm gonna link the video in the description below in case you guys want to find out what really happened to Bella Goth. By the way, let me strip you because I have to see what you look like. Okay, he at least has a good figure and he has a tattoo. No, he doesn't look all bad, I'm not gonna lie. He looks like a good man and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make him taller just because... I want to. Okay, I think I'm actually done with the skin details. I gave him a nose, I gave him an overlay. Okay, there are the eye bags which I wish to give you. You know, you gotta be tired after flirting with all of those women and keeping a life where you secretly sleep 
with two sisters to twin sisters who do not know about each other. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with the skin details and now let's go to beard because he had this goatee or whatever it's called. Okay, I mean, look at how good I'm doing so far. This is the Donald Thayer from the game and then you have this babe which, you know, we hate but he still looks like a babe so it's fine. Again, my options are limited so I think I'm going to go with this hair, uh, with this beard. I think it looks real nice. I think it completes the look of Don Lothario and now let me give you first some eyeliner you know, beautiful eyelashes that every woman believe when they go you know, stuff like that. And now for your eyes, you have green eyes too? Really? Does everybody in this family have dark green eyes? Apparently. Okay, maybe I could give him unusual green eyes because, you know, when women look at it, they're mesmerized and, you know, forget about... I don't know. I don't know at this point. He looks so much better now. And going for your hair, which is just a... You know, maybe I won't go with the exact same hair, even though it's iconic. Now, looking like this, I would cheat on my boyfriend with him, you know? If I had one. Okay, I really love this hair, but look what it look what it does to my eyelashes. Okay, done, done. Now you look now you look like a womanizer. Okay, there's also this that is really, really close to his original hairstyle, so maybe I could actually give him this one. And you are dressed. Actually, I would dare to say not that bad, but I am going to give you better clothes now. I don't know why, but I decided to give him MM Sims. Like formal shoes. Huh. Now let's see what I can give you to make you look hot. Okay, he he looks he looks good now. Are you know I could just go all out. I don't think he hides the fact that he loves women. He just hides the fact that he's sleeping with a lot of them at the same time. But I don't know, there's just something about letting his beautiful hands out in the world. Ooh, body hair. I should give you body hair. Sadly, I don't have any tattoo CC, so I'm not gonna change up his tattoo here, but I am gonna give you some hair lovely. And now let's see for a shirt. I'm still I'm still torn on the shirt, guys. I could just let him go out in the world like this. I don't think he'd mind. Oh. I mean, there are these two, but I don't think they reveal enough skin and they hide his biceps. But whatever I do, I just come back to this one. It just looks really good good on him and you know it does show some skin it doesn't show his musket okay it does i mean it shows his hands real nicely it's not bad yeah you know what i think i am going to go with this shirt okay oh he had a watch he had a watch he would never have this on his hand ever okay apparently i have no watch cc which is just very disturbing but in any case i'm going to give him this watch and by the way it's a waterproof watch because you know why because he loves spending his time in the hot tub if you know what i mean and if you haven't guessed what i mean i mean this exactly now this guy can date four women, try to find some more, have secret relationships, have a woohoo all the time, like this. I prefer much more than I prefer this. So yeah, you can tell me if you like my womanizer Don Lothario in the comments down below. And moving to the final sim, which I hate. This is supposed to be Katrina Caliente, who is the mother of Nina and Dina, and that is a total lie. Because Nina's and Dina's true mother is this woman right here. This is Nigat Caliente, who is the true mother of Nina and Dina Caliente. I do not know why the Sims team decided to create a whole new character, even different in name and everything than the two girls, because this is our true mother. For this makeover, I'm just going to give Katrina a makeover like she's a totally separate different sim like you know i have this sim just giving her a cast makeover and that is all okay so this sim is looking for a soulmate she is romantic family oriented and a hothead in fact i am so mad that i think i'm just going to make them all household members no household member make them why can't I make them household members? It's a house. Okay, I can't change it. Anyway, continuing with the makeover. Oh my god, did you have a boob job or something? Damn! Those things are huge! Okay, yeah, she totally had a boob job. Apparently, she is one of the fans of Donald Thario. I don't know if I could make her look good. I'm just gonna stay for now. I'm gonna try my best, but I don't promise anything. Okay, sadly, you cannot see the wrinkles behind her skin. But let's just pretend that she had except a boob job, a facelift kind of thing, you know, I don't know what it's called. I'm not gonna give her my 
I'm not gonna give her a lot of eyelashes, maybe they all fell off. There you go, dark green eyes, making them a little bit bigger because, you know, there was a little before. And now let's move on to the hair. I know I made her look a lot younger than she actually is, but there's only so much I can do. Okay, she has short red hair. Okay, I've been trying to find a sim to use this hairstyle on, so maybe she could be it. Okay, maybe slightly longer because it was a little bit longer before. Okay! Yeah, okay, she had shorts and a blue shirt on. There we go, and she has some sandal... She has something on her feet. And I think I am also done with Katrina Caliente, who is, for me, not even related to this family. So, okay, let's do a comparison. We have Katrina Caliente, the mother of Dina and Nina Caliente, in her original EA form and then we have the CC version of her she looks way too young I'm not gonna lie and then we have Don Lothario the attractive babe that has so many women at his feet and yet looks like this but then we have the CC version of him which I would I would I mean I wouldn't kneel to him but I can say that he looks a lot better than he did before and this gives him justice of, you know, having so much women. And then we have Nina Caliente in The Sims 4 form which is just tragic. And then we have my CC version of her looking a little bit like she did in The Sims 2. And then we have Gina Caliente, the true gold digger, the ambitious babe from this to this. I think she looks so Cool. She just gives you the energy like she has the power to take your money, you know? So you can go on ahead and tell me in the comments down below which one of the makeovers you like best. I honestly think that I like Dina the best. I don't know, there's just something about her that... I don't know, I'm reminiscing about The Sims 2 and it, she looks just so freaking adorable. I really, really like her. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And also, I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!